What's up? 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 What's up, guys? That was a lot of what's ups. Are you okay? I'm good. I'm good. Um, welcome to. Well, this should have happened at five in the morning. Right. What happened? We were gonna call it the five a.m. club, but man, last night was a... actually this, this last week, week has been the last like ten days. It's like each one of our kids. <laughs> but last night, this week. Each, no, 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 but no, but each one of our kids got sick. Right, and it's the domino That's effect. That's a chicken. And a uh, rooster. Yeah. Um, first it was Ocean, mm -hmm. and then Little King, and then Little Rio. And now Rio. And and it's like that, what is it called? It's like, oh my gosh, that rooster. It's right there. Um, it sounds like croup, yeah. but our friend Ryan was saying that it's not croup. It's just a deep, intense cough, and it's terrifying too because Rio is struggling with breathing at night, so the only way she'll sleep is literally like in standing up. my arms, it's, standing up it's or brutal. sitting up. It's poor, brutal. Poor Alexa, but she's like the, <laughs> the, the <laughs> mama champion, the wife, um, but we really haven't slept in like 10 days, and this morning, it was like 5.30, and Everybody was sleeping. We were like, we're still sleeping. We're going to need a facelift yeah. after this week. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, but no, we, this, for us, we are doing this. Um, a, Alexa really wants to just get more, what's the word? Um, us time in the morning. More, well, yeah, morning. more, more us time. And, um, you know, she really wants to, you know, dive into our deep, a little, dive into our deep, dive deeper into our faith mm -hmm. a little more. And um, I was like, look, I love creating content. So if we can merge the two i think it'll be good for both of us and this is what this is man that rooster is just he's going off there's got to be a hen around he's checking her out or oh something oh my goodness well welcome to uh what it what should have been the 5 a.m club uh at 11 30 a.m it's hey it's still a.m it is in hawaii <laughs> do we need to do something about this rooster <laughs> i know what we're having for dinner oh my get out of here it's terrible. all right so we have a new book our, our first book, a new book. Our first book is coming out. When is it? I'm terrible at this. June 28th. June 28th. Hold on. You 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 talk about the book. I'm going to try and pull up a... A picture of it? Okay, cool. Um, So yeah, we have a book coming out June 28th. Uh, we've always wanted to come out with a book. We just yep. always... We had a lot of ideas. We have a lot of things that we want to say, and particularly around marriage and mm -hmm. the importance of marriage and why we love marriage and why we think it is beautiful and holy and sacred. Um, and now more than ever, I feel like people need to know more about marriage. It, I feel like it's something that's kind of dying in our culture today. Oh, hold on. Oh. Hold on. I was including trying. the screen. <laughs> <laughs> good timing. Good timing. Good timing. Go ahead. Um, so basically, uh, this is just kind of, it's, it's, a the book is a medley of things kind of like this conversation today. Um, it talks about our marriage, our faith our um, testimonies of how we even kind of found Jesus and got to where we are now as parents and, you know, grown-ups <laughs> navigating life. Navigating life. <laughs> uh, hold on. I'm trying to pull up a picture. I'm learning. That I'm. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Image. Boom. Yes. Oh. Yes, we're learning. We are learning. I'm trying to get good at this. Uh, why won't it let me pick it? Oh, there we go. Which one do you want? That one. That one? Yeah. Okay, boom. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Is it working? Oh, look, there it is. <gasps> it's over my face. There it is. Love it. Put it right there. That's the Boom. book. Boom. That's the book. Hey, it's... babe, really, I'm impressed with you with like figuring all of this yeah, stuff yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank um, you. Thank you so much. Another fun thing, like we've just always, we wanted to get on the podcast. We wanted to get on all the Cross Your Heart stuff, uh, all the vlogs. And there's just, I think we just have so many things that we want to do that it almost felt unattainable because our list was stacking up like crazy that finally, and I'm so proud of Carlos for just being like, no, we're going to do this 5 a.m. thing because for the most part, the kids will probably be sleeping. And at night, we're so burnt out from yeah. the day that all we want to do is rest and, and not really sit down and have chats like this. But we're doing it. And the book is coming out and the book has inspired this. So <clears throat> what if love is the point? June 28th, you can pre-order now everywhere. Uh, so please do that. We would really appreciate that. Um, but we decided that we're going to do these little segments called What's the Point? Because I feel like we have, in our society, it's a question that should be brought up more often than not. Like, okay, fine. You want me to do this, but what's the point? Okay, cool. You said this, but what's the point of this? You know. And well, we're so quick to go along with everything, but right. I want to know why. Like, right. why do I have to wear deodorant? <laughs> I, I actually don't for our marriage I, you know what the only deodorant i wear is happy deodorant shout hey, out come on. shout out to happy um, okay but 
I posed the question yesterday on Instagram and I got the uh, a, ton of a ton of responses. So I figured well, let's just go through a couple and uh, and just talk about it. So a buddy of mine wrote, what's the point of waking up at 5 a.m.? I think that we just. Yeah, it's our it's like the one time yeah. we can get alone time. OK, here we go. Um, what's the point of sporks? That's a great question. Sporks. Sporks. Wow. We, we, sh we actually should have done some research. Uh, <laughs> on um, I feel like it's a very handy tool when camping. Uh, we have them here. I, to be honest with you, I don't see a point in a spork, but I'm sure people will disagree with me. I'm guessing if you want to eat soup and get like a nice piece of chicken <laughs> on there. No, but didn't you have them have them in, in school? I had them in school, but I, not, not by choice. Hold on, I'm I'm looking up. Right. I want to know who out there. Wait, where are you posting this? Instagram. Instagram. YouTube. Okay, wherever we're posting this, put in the comments below. <laughs> do you use sporks? Do you like sporks? Uh, I don't know about that. Who still uses sporks? Okay, that is over 18 years hold old. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at this. The brief history of that R of spork. We should have looked this up before because this is probably great. It says a fairly recent invention. Really? Yeah, spoons have been around since the prehistoric times, while two. Two tin forks were used for cooking in ancient Greece and Rome. I mean, it just makes sense to put them together, right? Uh, yeah. I it wasn't until a U.S. patent was issued in 1970 that the term spork was officially tied to the design. Oh, wow. Okay. Hold on. In 1874, a U.S. patent was awarded uh, for a utensil with a handle and a spoon-like end outfitted with a knife Knife edge and fork tines. No, tines. maybe no, 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 no. So no, hold on. So 1874. I know, but 1874 see, I, and then 1970, it was patented and it was like it's called the spork. Okay, but it, what the other one sounds more like a knife on a spoon and a fork. Yeah, that's terrifying. I mean, listen, I'm I, I'm weird. I don't actually like. Uh, Carlos is super. Weird. I'll eat. I'll eat stuff. I'll use a spoon for soup. But I won't do it. He can't stand spoons. He has like a spoon aversion, but he wants to eat I mean, everything in a bowl, which is funny because to me, bowls and spoons go together and plates and forks whatever. go together. But for Carlos, he's just like, I want everything in a bowl and I don't want to use a spoon. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah, fork. yeah. Um, let's see. Another one. What's the point of points? I, I don't have an... That's a deep... That's a deep one right there. Um, what did... What did you find? Oh, what's the point of not using a microwave? So uh, we actually uh -huh. don't have have a ha have a microwave. Oh, somebody's trying to get a hold of you. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'll okay. do it later. Um, so microwaves are. Uh, I have a lot of feelings about microwaves. They're not good for you. They uh are they nuke the nutrients out of your food. Um, you have the radiation coming out of there, so they're pretty junk. Um. And they're especially dangerous for young ones around your house. And I feel like that's kind of, I mean, whether you're a college kid or you're a mom on the go, so you want to quickly like nuke something, it has a lot more damage than, than. Yeah. Didn't you find something hold earlier? On, hold on, hold on, hold on. She was looking up, she was looking that up earlier because I was going through all the, uh, you know, what's the point questions and microwave stuck out to her a lot. Dude, the electromagnetic field reaches like all around your house and it's absorbed by whatever is placed in the oven. Um, so then it ends up getting, I don't know. I don't know how to say some of these words, um, but basically we don't use them. We don't use them. Um, it just sucks because it's radiation and you're putting radiation in your home and around your body constantly. And there are negative side effects to it. I think they even said that, um, scientifically they can link it to cancer diabetes where no is way. that uh yeah a whole bunch of stuff i'll have to find it uh yeah and nutritional deficiency that's pretty crazy so for us we were like how much harder is it to just heat something up on the stove it's it's, it's a lot harder <laughs> it no, takes it's not. It, it, it just takes more time although although we did get an awesome oven that a couple years ago cool. it's called the brava um and man that thing has really revolutionized uh how the Penavegas cook wouldn't you say? Sorry, I'm just still reading. No, 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 no. Microwaves. That, that's that's a good one. Okay. Let's go. How let, long are our videos? Let, let's just do one more and then, this and then we'll call minutes, this. But I feel like it was like 10 Has minutes. Has it been of, 10 minutes? Of nonsense. Oh, oh, well, you know, whatever. 
Okay. Ooh, I, this is a deep one. Oh I, I don't know if we want, no, no. You know what? This one needs more research. That one needs more research. What's the point of tithing in church? Oh. We've, we, we actually dove into that the other day in our small group. I think that Can one. I give, okay. Do you want to save it? I want to save it because this is a very long winded yeah, answer. Yep. Um, but I do believe without necessarily going into tithing on this episode, um, just go back to like just giving in general. Doesn't it feel good to give? Like the, yep. the, I feel like something is released in your body. Like I love getting gifts, getting gifts is awesome, but giving gifts to me is so much more exciting and so much more fulfilling because mm -hmm. I can see somebody's reaction. I know it's doing something kind for somebody else and especially if it's something in need so let's look outside of gifts let's look at um you know helping somebody move or if somebody is in need of something and rather it being like oh a gift for your birthday but like they're in need of i don't know a, a computer and you happen to have an extra computer and you give it to them there is this feeling of like i fulfilled a need of someone and us as servants here on earth we're supposed to be helping fulfill people's needs Amen. i know the computer thing was like a random <laughs> no, 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 like no. um but yeah like our job here on earth like everybody wants to be a leader and that's awesome but if you want to be a true leader you really have to be a true servant mm. and and i think that goes mm. back to tithing and giving and the more and more you that's give, a whole nother one what's the point of being a leader oh my gosh there's I got, so many i can talk a lot I can, I can talk on that one but yeah so anyway um we will dive into tithing, but just go right into, because giving and tithing really do go hand in hand because you can't tithe begrudgingly. You have to tithe in like a giving way because if mm -hmm. your heart is not aligned with the tithe, it's a rotten tithe, yep. essentially. I love it. Um, I want to do this one, even though it's kind of a lengthy one too. Okay. What's the point of waiting to have sex? Before marriage. Wait, what's the point of waiting? Do it. I did this. I did this, this in my last day. We like, What's the uh, point of waiting? Well, because until after marriage. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Or like up until marriage. Yeah. yeah. Um. So uh, Alexa and I, and we do talk about about this in the book. In our book, yeah. Um. Alexa and I, we didn't actually wait. Uh, we and should have. We should have, but we didn't. And there were a lot of conversations Ooh. about it. Again, we talk about it in the book, uh, but it was a deaf. It's a well, point of contention. Alexa literally at one point was like, "I don't want to like." we're not married yet the date is you know x and like this is wrong and i lost it i said i mean i he think was not happy about i think this my exact words were like how like it's like you give give a baby like candy and then they're like loving it and you're like you can't no more have for it you. no more candy for you and i was like i was like you, you just can't do that and we, you know she struggled with that a lot and um you know one day as we were diving deeper into our faith i woke up one day and I turned to her and I said, hey, we, we, we shouldn't be having sex before Duh. we're married. And she was like, <laughs> she no, was like was, what did you take? I was like, honestly so thankful because it was just prayers answered. Like, here's the truth. Sex is awesome. It was meant to be awesome. It was meant to be beautiful. It's this, again, this holiness that you get to share in marriage and this like beautiful connection. So it wasn't meant to be bad. It was meant to be incredible. Yeah. Um, so obviously, like, why would you want to stop something that's incredible other than knowing that there is a holy place for it? Well, I mean, so just to wrap it up with this, we ended up um, abstaining. Yeah. yeah. Abstaining from sex until after our wedding. And it was like probably like three months. I would say, yeah, like two or three months. Two or three like months. And in those two or three months, I was able to get to know Alexa in a different way that I I have to talk to you now <laughs> no no but like I I fully understand it I yeah. never I never understood you know like wait until you're married wait until you're married people are like always like oh you know like try before I buy blah 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 that's literally a thing <laughs> such a terrible and, thing oh and and I now fully understand it because Alexa and I were able to connect on a whole different level and it wasn't just like a physical attraction like that 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 physical attraction was there but because we were abstaining from that, those type of things, we were forced to actually, you know, spend evenings 
getting to know each other in different ways and and actually having conversations and well enjoy enjoying each other in different ways right. i think it's kind of especially nowadays it's so easy to just kind of be like all right let's just hurry up and get to sex and then yeah. hurry up and just right. get to the climax and like, then go to sleep it's and, not and actually you're done. about yep. a connection yep. and at the end of the day it's supposed to be about a connection yeah and and we were able to kind of recreate the forefront of that connection before sex mm -hmm. and then when marriage happened we learned even more after after that waiting period 100 percent. and then after being married for how many years seven years eight years we found like a whole new beautiful side to like sex and marriage yeah which we'll I, talk about i, I, I mean later. i think i think for sure waiting is the way to go and oh, it's not even 20, sure. like it's 18, 21, 23 year old me would be like, yeah, right. Are you kidding me? Like, no way. But now as a 32 year old, I, you know, married, what were like eight, nine years now? Yeah. Three kids later, three kids later, I'm sitting here going, man, I wish we had taken, like, I wish I had waited, you know, yeah. I wish, I wish Alexa had been my first. That would have been Sorry, awesome. Babe. It's okay. I wish, <laughs> I'd wish, you know, I'd been your first. That would have been great. But yeah, you know, I, I, all of this to say, even if you're in the same position that, that I was in and you're, in, and you know, you're not married and you're contemplating this and you're like, well, I, I'm already sleeping with someone, you know, but like whatever it is, there's always time to make a shift. Yes. And even though we only had two or three months of, of, of those abstinence, were important months. those were, th those were pivotal moments in our relationship to strengthen our marriage um and 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 to build those building blocks that honestly i don't know what i mean look i i would hope that we'd still be the same but i think that those three months we we developed a whole nother side of our 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 relationship that i'm so thankful for well you also took a step closer in your faith by doing that because totally. you were operating out of your faith zone, essentially. You were like, okay, I know what's written in scripture, but yeah. I want to do what I want to do yep. because my needs outweigh in your head whatever consequence comes of not listening to yep. what scripture says. Yeah. Dude, that's... Oh. Come on, girl. Okay. Anyways, this, this was a long one. They normally won't be this long or they may be longer. I don't know, but the truth is... The truth is, I don't know. <laughs> the truth is, I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, okay, we, we love you guys. Uh, what if love is a point is coming out June twenty eighth. If you want, you can uh, go on all those different places online and uh, pre order. We'd really appreciate it. And thank you guys for all the love and support. And for those of you uh, who watch our YouTube channel, Lex Loves Los, um, if you haven't noticed, uh, we are shifting gears and we have shifted to more of a family channel called La Vida Pena Vega, and we're so excited. Our, our first episode, I'm hoping, comes out this, this coming Tuesday, um, and they're going to be just rolling out. I have a question. Why, yeah. why are you hoping it comes out this Tuesday? Because we got a lot to finish. It's either going to be this Tuesday <laughs> or next Tuesday, but it's going to be uh, our videos will be coming out uh, on Tuesdays, every Tuesday. So, yeah, look out for it. A lot coming up, a lot of travel, a lot of sailing. Guys, we can't wait to take you to the boat. It is... It's going to be so cool. Um, but yeah. So, hey, do we end this the same way that we end our vlogs? Much love. Much love. God bless. God bless. And, and as, as always, always chop liver. liver. Let me see if I can do this little outro with the music. Let me see. Boom. Yes, babe. And boom. Is it working? I don't know. No. Hold on. We're coming back. We're coming <laughs> back. We're coming back. We're coming back. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. Is, is it working? Well, you guys are with us on this trial and error journey. <laughs> Is it working? I don't know. Roll out. Go, go, go. We'll see you guys later. The next one will be much better. <laughs>